Peggy 7. Hello, I'm Stone Lebrandi, the lead designer of the SimCity Cities of Tomorrow expansion pack. In Cities of Tomorrow, we give you the power to create your own future cities. You can now lead your city into the future by researching advanced technologies and using them to transform your city's infrastructure. Many of the future technologies in this game are based on ideas that are being researched today. Here's a closer look at three cities that I've been working on in this region. My first city holds the Academy, the research hub of the region. This panel shows all of the technologies that the Academy can research. The green ones are already complete, but I still have several to choose from. I'm currently researching fusion reaction technology. When this is complete, it will allow me to build a clean fusion power plant to replace my dirty coal power plant. The Academy researchers are making good progress, and it looks like it should be finished soon. Many advanced technologies will only operate if they are connected to ControlNet. These buildings can be operated remotely without workers, as long as they can link up to the wireless control net signal that radiates out from the academy. The maglev is a great way to transport your people around the city. The magnetic track is raised above the roads so that your sims won't get stuck in traffic. Depending on your city's priorities, the academy can research technologies that benefit transportation, increase energy production, and clean up pollution. For example, this sewage sanitizer will take wastewater and convert it into pure drinking water. Let's check out my neighboring city. This city's primary focus is to manufacture and sell Omega, a highly advanced substance. Everyone in the city wants Omega and is willing to pay handsomely for it. Selling truckloads of Omega is a great way to make a lot of extra money. I use these profits to fund the research in my academy city. Omega Co. delivery trucks transport Omega to the factories in my city. This enhances my industrial goods, which are then shipped out to my shops and sold to my residents. Buildings that receive enough Omega shipments are converted into Omega Co. franchises. The farther the Omega spreads, the larger my profits grow. Omega Co. factories can also be upgraded to manufacture drones. Drones fly above the streets, minimizing traffic, and deliver packages directly to the consumers. Why should the Sims leave the comfort of their homes when drones can do all of the shopping for them? Drones can also be modified to look for criminals, put out fires, and heal the injured. As you can see from this pollution layer, all of this Omega manufacturing is a bit hazardous to the environment. Let's clean up the area using the Academy's ground scrubber technology. These scrubbers convert ground pollution into air pollution and remove it from my city, as long as the wind is blowing in the right direction. It's not too surprising that Sims don't like to live in this city. So I built a futuristic home for them in a city down the road. A new feature of Cities of Tomorrow is the ability to build your own mega towers, level by level. There are millions of unique ways to construct a mega tower as you expand upwards. You can design a mega tower to fit the exact needs of your city. This mega tower is a combination of apartments, offices, and malls. Thousands of Sims can work, shop, and sleep in this one building. I want to connect this mega tower up to my other ones, so I'll add a Skybridge transport level. This will allow my sims to travel between the towers without having to take the elevator down to the streets below. This tower is for my wealthier sims. In addition to its luxury apartments, it also has beautiful parks, schools, and its own solar plant on the roof. Okay, it looks like my fusion power research is complete. High-tech buildings require a lot more power, so I'm going to add a fusion power plant to this city. This is a non-polluting power plant, which outputs a large amount of electricity. I'll have more than enough electricity to power this city, and the excess can be sold to other cities in the region. But first, I have to ignite the fusion power plant. It takes a lot of energy to start a fusion reaction, so in order to jumpstart it, I built it near my oil power plant. This will cause a temporary disruption in the power flow, but it's worth it once I get an endless supply of clean power. As you can see, all three of my cities work together to make the region successful. The Academy researches advanced technologies, Omega Co. keeps the money flowing into my treasury, and the Mega Towers house the majority of my Sims. That's all for now, but we'll be showing more in future videos. Thanks for watching.